Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here, Diane Bondi here. If you're into yoga, joyful movement, learning to accept your body as it is, and just overall having a little bit of fun in movement, I would invite you to subscribe. So you can hit the subscribe button and the bell button to be notified when I upload new videos. And sometimes I upload videos twice a week, but I at least get to you once a week. So thank you. If you aren't new here and you're returning, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you being here and I'd love to hear how you found me. Please go ahead and comment below and share these videos with anybody you think might get something out of them. So today's video, I thought we would work a little bit on balance. So this is going to be a fully standing video with little to no weight in the hands unless you want to use the wall as your um, place to find balance. So we won't be putting a lot of weight in the hands, more of just like tapping on things around us to help us find our balance. So we'll start with standing. I've got two blocks at the front of my mat and we'll start by standing um, in Tadasana, feet two fists width apart, pushing down and wide into the feet. And then curling the shoulder blades onto the back, turning the palms forward. So we'll just do a little bit of grounding here. Breathing naturally and normally, if that feels good for you. Or if you have a breathing practice, like an Ujjayi breathing practice, you can start to breathe in through the nose, out through the nose, expanding into the rib cage. So we're just going to do a little bit of balance. So go ahead and find your breath. Relax your shoulder blades onto your back. Push down and wide through your feet. Turn your palms forward. So this is Tadasana or Mountain Pose. I also like to call this standing in my power. So this is where I feel the most powerful. So close your eyes. Feel where all the points of your feet make connection to the ground or to the floor, wherever you are. Notice what's going on in the center of your body. I like to give myself a nice internal hug because I tend to have a really bendy back. So I'm drawing my belly button closer into the center of me as my hug from the inside. I like to expand through my collarbones by drawing the lower tips of the shoulder blades onto the back and the heart becomes full and the breath becomes full. From here, let's extend our arms straight up and out in front of us. And now plug the shoulder blades into the back, bend the elbows and lift the chest. Push down and wide into the feet. Now inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bend generously at the waist and let the crown of the head come down toward the floor. Grasping at opposite elbows, just go ahead and hang on. Let the crown of the head come down to the floor. You can also, if you like, reach the arms back behind you and open up. Now softening through the knees, bend the knees, reach the arms forward and all the way up. Now take the right hand down to the side, stretch the left fingertips over to the right, and now sweep the right arm up and reach the left hand down to the side, reaching up this way. Now both arms come up, sweep the arms wide, lace the fingertips behind the low back, squeeze between the shoulder blades, open the heart, and from here, release your hands to your waist and take a giant step back with your left foot to start. So we're gonna come into a lunge pose, coming up onto the left toes. Let's inhale, sweep the arms high to the sky, and now exhale, lean forward, reach the arms back behind you. Inhale, sweep the arms forward and up. Look up, and now exhale, sweep the arms back behind you. Two more. Inhale, reach up. Good. Exhale and sweep back behind you. One more time. Let's inhale, reach all the way up. And now I'm going to invite you to turn that left toe out, pivot and plant, and float the arms out into T. Bend into the square of your knee and pause here. Turning the palms up to the sky. Let's straighten out through that front leg. Reach the fingertips up to the sky. And now pulling out onto the left hip, let's reach both fingertips over that right leg. Breathe, 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 breathe. Good, now bend into the knee. Come back to your warrior two pose. And now let's take your feet to turn toward the long edge of your mat. Bring your hands to your waist, look up. Now lace the fingertips behind the low back, squeeze between the shoulder blades and lengthen up. Good, hold here. And now soften your knees, bring your forearms to the top of your knees, bring the tips of your fingertips together. Now straighten out through your legs and fold forward. Release your hands to your low back and let the crown of the head come forward. There's a softness in the knees. 
Good. Soften your knees. Inhale. Roll up nice and slow. And now let's heel toe our feet together and step back towards the top of our mat. Feet are two fists width apart. Push down and push wide into the feet. Find your power in your legs and your power in your glutes. Find your connection to your core in the center of your body. Lengthen through the sides of the waist and pull the shoulder blades on the back. Turn the palms forward and stand in Tadasana, mountain pose. Find your power. Beautiful. Let's inhale, arms up through center, reach all the way up. Bring the right hand down to the side of the right body. Reach your left fingertips over to the left. And now bring the right arm all the way up. And swim the left arm up and over. Inhale, both arms up to the sky. Exhale, both hands to heart center. And now bring your hands to your waist. Take a giant step back with your right foot. Let's inhale. Curl the shoulder blades on the back. Slowly sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, bend the elbows out wide, lift the heart. Inhale, stretch the arms up. Exhale, squeeze between the shoulder blades, open the heart. Inhale, reach the arms up. You can come up on the toes, I'm doing it if you like. Exhale and sink down one more time. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, sink down, squeeze between the shoulder blades. Bring the hands back to the waist and now pivot and plant the back foot and adjust accordingly to move. Bend into the square of the knee and now circle the arms out into a T. Warrior two pose. Hold here. Lengthen and bend into the square of the knee. Allow the shoulder blades to draw together. Now turn the palms up to the sky. Straighten out through that left leg. Pull back on that right hip and reach both sets of fingertips over the left leg. Keep lengthening and stretching, lengthening and stretching, lengthening and stretching lengthening and stretching and now inhale back through warrior two and now come in into a peaceful warrior both hands come back to warrior two and now turn both sets of toes to the long end of the mat and bend your knees tip your sitting bones back rest your forearms on the top of your thighs and fold forward now very slowly straighten out through the legs crown of the head comes forward rest your hands on your low back Breathe. Now holding onto your wrists, soften the knees, tuck the chin to the chest, roll all the way up one vertebra at a time, and now lace the fingertips together, curl the chest back, look up, pull the shoulders back. And again, let's bring our hands to our waist and heel toe our feet together, and we'll take a balance pose. So go ahead and find a spot in the room where you can anchor your gaze, okay? So we call this our dristi or our focal point. We're gonna move through a moving balance. I'm gonna turn to the side so that you can see. Make sure you can extend your leg out in front or your leg out behind you. So lifting and spreading your toes, rooting down through your feet. Let's inhale, float that left knee into the chest. Pause here with both hands on your, at your heart center. Now, if you happen to have blocks that are available to you and you want to work on your balance or your balance is feeling a little bit wobbly today, you can place your toes on your block. I often like to do that. For those of you who might not know, I have Graves' disease and sometimes that makes me dizzy. So I like to have things close by to me that I can hold on to in case I start to fall. From here, I'm feeling pretty strong today, so I'm gonna move into a warrior three pose. So extending the left leg out behind me again, bringing my palms together. Any, uh, any pressure I'm putting in my hands is just to steady me. I'm not actually putting any weight in my hands. And now I'm gonna do a moving balance. I'm gonna try bringing the knee forward. If I fall out, I fall out. I have lots of things around me to help my balance. And let's do three of these. So now I'm gonna kick back. That's one, moving into two. Pressing down into your outer right heel, then bringing the knee forward, kicking it out. That's two. Draw in, kick back, moving into three. And again, any weight on my hands is just to steady myself. This is three. Now on my fourth one, I'm gonna move right into a dancer pose. You have the option to stay in anywhere that you feel comfortable. So I'm gonna reach back, grab a hold of my ankle, anchoring my gaze, using my right hand to steady me. Find your breath. Breathe. Good, from 
here, I'm now going to cross that left ankle over the right knee and sit back into a standing pigeon pose. Breathe. And then inhale, come up. Exhale and plant both feet. So now I've like fatigued my glute on this side. So you're maybe the top of your hip right here, your um, the top of your glute here, or your bottom might be talking to you. I like to just shake it out. My jiggle there for I am philosophy. Maybe go ahead and just circle your knee out. Makes me think of doing this in the TikTok videos. But go ahead and shake that out. And let's work on the second side. And again, you know, if you have blocks available to you or a ball or anything, you can rest your foot on a chair even, go ahead and opt for that. So we'll root down through the left side, come up onto the right toes, turn the palm forward, and then float the toes up. You can again, just like rest the toes on a block if you feel you need that in your life, go ahead and do that. Or bringing your hands to your waist, shoulder blades on the back, and then you can do a moving balance. So now I'm gonna do what I did on the first side, and do a moving balance. And you'll notice I tap my toes down. I use what I need to do to maintain my balance. So my whole philosophy for a joyful, mindful movement is that it's not all or nothing, as Big Fit Girl Louise Green says, it's all or something. So whatever you get done today is good. You never have to beat yourself up for not getting it all or not going as hard as you could go. Every day is different, every opportunity is an opportunity to grow and learn. So give yourself, a, give yourself a break. Okay, one more. Lifting the knee up, kicking back. Woo. Feeling that fatigue on that left side. Now crossing my right ankle over my left knee and sitting back. Oh, stretch, stretch, stretch. Feeling my hip, feeling all the things today. Woo. Inhale. And slowly come up. Exhale. Plant your feet. I jiggle there for I am, so shake it out because now I'm fatigued on the other side. So now let's move into a tree pose. So a tree can look at lots of different ways. So think of shrubs, think of bushes, think of maples and oaks and magnolias. Trees look all kinds of ways, so your tree is going to look all kinds of ways. So let's start with our most basic tree. So rocking or rooting down through that right foot bringing the left heel to the inside of the right ankle and bringing our palms together, making sure that we're anchoring our gaze at some point in the room. So that's our first look at tree. If you're feeling really steady and you wanna challenge the balance or the breath a little bit as I'm doing, you can slide that foot to the inside of the shin if that works. If you're feeling really ambitious, and I'm not feeling that ambitious, but I'm going to show you anyway, you can try bringing your foot to the inside of your thigh. My pants are crazy slippery or very slippery, so I find that this doesn't work for me to bring the foot to the inside. I can get it up, but I can't maintain it, and I don't like to put my foot at my knee joint. It just doesn't feel right or good. So I'm going to cross over and hold my left foot with my right hand, and work on my balance this way. So feel free to do whatever works in your body. Don't be afraid to experiment with balance poses. Even if you wanna try taking perhaps a dancer pose. Wow, that surprised me. I didn't think I was gonna get that done. But go ahead and play with whatever balance works for you. And take a few minutes to breathe. Woo. And then release. And what I like about playing with balance is it really works on helping you if you're gonna fall, right? It's winter time where I am here now and it's icy when I go out for a walk. And I like this feeling that I know I can catch myself or if I fall, that I'm less likely to hurt myself because I've been working on my balance and I know either how to catch myself or actually how to fall. So let's try the left side. Again, rooting down through your left foot bringing your right foot to the inside of your left ankle, bringing your palms together, just finding your balance here. And again, playing, right? The way we learn anything successfully is through play. So I would invite you to play. So you can bring your foot to the inside of your shin or calf. You can try grabbing that right foot with the left hand. You can even try, this is 
tricky for me on this side. Maybe you try dancer. Oh, okay, that went better than I thought. Once again, I surprised myself. And then you can always play with moving the leg around. Just being creative, just having fun. And then making your way back to Tadasana when you feel balanced and ready. Breathing deeply and slowly. Shaking it out. Let's inhale, reach our arms high to the sky. And let's exhale, fold forward, reaching our arms back behind us. And now I'm gonna go ahead and squat, bringing your hands to the top of your knees, taking your feet out nice and wide. I'm gonna go ahead and squat down. So what I like to do is squat more on my right side. It just feels more comfortable. But this is how I'm gonna descend to the floor. I'm up on my right toe. I've got my weight on my right side and less weight on my left side because my left knee has been a little sore lately. So I wanna give her a break. Now I'm gonna bring my blocks in front of me, come down onto my forearms, lower my right knee onto the floor, tuck my heel underneath me, and then make my way down to the floor. So that was coming down to the floor with the least amount of weight in my hands. So I always wanna keep that in mind. From here, I'm gonna make my way onto my back. And you're gonna notice I'm actually not using my hands to come onto my back. I'm gonna plant my feet and slowly roll down, drawing my knees into my chest, and just giving my back a little bit of love. I find when I do a lot of balance stuff, it's a lot of work for my back to keep me balanced. So I like to show my back a little love. And we'll circle our knees in one direction. Whew. And then in another. Beautiful. And then floating the arms out into T, letting the knees fall over to one side. Doesn't matter, you can choose the side, left or right, because we're gonna do the other side. Give yourself a break, okay? It's all good. It's all okay. It's all yoga. It's all a connection to self and breath and to the bigger energy and world. And then come to the second side. And breathe. Inhale, exhale. And then back through center, plant your feet. Let your knees fall in on each other. And then bring your palms together and rest your thumbs just between your eyebrows and soften. Breathe. From here, let's bring the soles of our feet together, our knees wide, and our hands to our belly and breathe. And just breathe. And then here's where I'm going to leave you because I never want to dictate how much time you need or want to take in Tabasana. So find a comfortable way to take your final rest, whether that's laying on your side, whether that's maybe a nice reclining twist, maybe it's a Baddha Konasana or you're crossing your ankles, but find that final rest place where you can just enjoy your practice and enjoy taking some downtime, some soft time and relax. Thank you for joining me. I hope you had a great practice. Always come as you are, use what you have, and do what you can. Thank you everyone.